Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice and today we are going to continue the fourth trim mod. I got finally most or well, almost all of the material in. Like this here is a 6061 flat three quarter by a half inch aluminum rod which I will be cutting down and this will make the structural casing around that plate we did in the previous uh, episodes. So let's cut them down to 14 inches. I will need two of those. There goes one. And here we are. Now we're gonna square them up in the mill and then they will be slotted. All right, we're ready to square those up. Okay, now let's do the other end. Well, that's looking pretty good. Let's see this here. Here's our first trim with the plate. And these ones, they go on the left and right hand side. Okay, now we made a second one. And then we get everything measured for slotting. I want to put it on each one an approximately 16 inch deep slot. The length of that rod. And then these two become the base support rods, like so. And in between, the first turn mod base plate will go. Let's add some cutting fluid to it, get our air ready. And it's gonna go milling. Alright, now we're gonna clean this up a little bit with a knife here. So it's gonna be sanded down and when it's sanded down it will fit perfectly. And I'll be back for the fit. So here we are on the assembly table. I already put those uh, flat bars which are made and slotted onto the plate. As you can see here, now we have a little bit over five inches. And I did this because I cannot put a larger stock than four inches wide in my mill or in the mill vise. So I had no other option to make this wider than using a three quarter by half inch flat bar slotted to capture that base plate. On the back and in the front with aluminum rods so it looks like this and capture those two bars making a kind of a a bridge so a plate can get on the top which will be obviously the bottom plate because it's gonna look like gonna look like this alrighty now we're here at the waist and I'm gonna have to cut six of them two for two for each end and two for the cam support. I may even make eight just to be on the safe side. Okay, here we are. Seven pieces and now we're gonna square them all up in the mill. Ready, all set up. some air over here. I'm gonna do the seven other ones and this side and then I'll be back. Well here we are. 
I made seven posts from half inch by three quarter inch flat bar. Now drilled and tapped front and rear on the base plate to be mounted. I made three extra ones so I have some posts for the cam system. Alright, now let's get to drilling and tapping. We need about 50 millimeters to go in so I can tap this. Okay, looking good. Let's get it remounted. Alrighty, one completed. Three more to go. I'm gonna do them off camera and I'll be back when I have them done. Alright, here we are at the drill press now. And they're gonna do the one eighth inch holes I drilled on the mill. We're gonna drill them out to 4.2 millimeter because we're gonna thread them with a M5 and that requires a 4.2 millimeter bore. I already drilled all the other ones, so now we have seven, both sides, and now we're gonna go over to the vise and we're gonna tap them for M5. Alrighty, let's get this started. All right, we're on the bottom here. One done, thirteen to go, and I'll be back when I have those done. We now drilled and threaded all holes. Next step is those bars need to be drilled. I already measured them all up and then we mount those bars back to the base plate and we're going to install four posts here. Okay, here I am with my four posts installed. The next step is using a linear guide rail and this will be installed between those posts and this will carry the spring system so when the motor is locked that the joystick lever still has the functionality moving forward or backward out of the lock position so this will be next we're going to recess the rail in those posts and then bolt them on okay now we're gonna drill those holes in these end posts. First they're gonna align the center. That's about right on there. And we're gonna do this four times. Alrighty, now I'm going to mark for milling the slot. Well, all our posts are slotted. Now I'm gonna tap them. Okay, here we are. I have the guide rail in the vise. I'll have to cut this end off and also trim this end a little bit. Looking good. All right, here we're at the mill. Let's get this set up. I'll use a little bit of a cutting fluid. Sand it down a little bit, see. Now 
Now we're going to have to, to measure for a hole here on the end and then we're going to drill this on a door press. And now we're going to chamfer those and then we can install them. Very good. Alrighty, let's go over to the assembly table and get that installed. I'll see you there. Okay, here we are on the assembly table. We have our guide rails now all ready to go. And we're going to mount them into the assembly here. We're going to use M416 countersunk stainless steel hex bolts. Just a good snug fit will be just fine. And here we are, here's the guide rails installed. Also gives additional support to uh, for a post. They will still get a cross member as well. But for now, we have guide rails everywhere. Just how I like it. Now it's time for a sip of my coffee. And thanks to one of my supporters who donated nicely, who supported me on my website. So can you just go there and buy me some coffee. And I really appreciate it. Okay, here we are on the mill. Gonna start making that crossbar for the front. Gonna shorten that with the portable saw first. But that's just too much material to take away. Uh, tap holes I drilled for the bottom crossbar. I already uh, tapped this side. Now I'm gonna do this side here. I'll go ahead and chamfer this tiny bit. tapping is done and we have here the grooves for our extensions I made a groove here so I have access to the joysticks top two holes where normally the mounting plate is mounted so these holes are available to mount something else in the future or in the progress of this project and this is a cutout which goes over the joystick you will see in a minute. These two holes to mount it to the joystick base plate. These two to mount it to the outside posts. These are M3 and so let's install it. on this side. On that side over here we'll need a whole plate and I'm thinking of making on the top some sort of a handle maybe even on the back here so one can easily grab this and transport it because this thing is pretty heavy. And uh, the next step is to make an making a, a crossbar right here all right, so far so good. Let's get making that measuring and making that top crossbar.
we're completing the top brace or top bridge. We need to drill four holes, then drill them out, and then this part should be completed until face plates. The outer ones are for M5 and the inner ones for M8. Okay, let's get those drills here on the outside first. And here it is. Let's get some alcohol for that blue to come off. Everything cleans up nicely with alcohol. Now I just have to chamfer those a little bit. Take the edge off, go over with the sand, sanding sponge, and then we're good to go. And here it is, the top bridge. Two M8s, two M5s. Next step, installing. Okay, here we are. Let's get that installed. Okay. All looking good on this side and that side. Let's put those in here. And our brake brace is installed. Okay, and here we are all done for this video. Next time I'll be doing the rear bracer and starting on the linkage system. Please make sure to check out my completely revamped CrashMeTwice.com website. And then don't forget to check out my Discord channel too. I hope you all enjoyed this project and I hope I earned a like from you. Crash Me Twice, out.